The Major League Baseball draft is off and running. They will cover 50 rounds in three days, and it starts with a special pick at number 20. And the folks in Bryan, well, they like this. With the 20th selection in the first round of the 2010 first-year player draft, the Boston Red Sox select Coburn Vidic. A second baseman. The former Brian Golden Bear just finished his junior year at Ball State. Colburn has a 361 average in college ball, and he played second base but could move to the outfield with the Red Sox. Rounds 2 through 30 pick up tomorrow, and that's where we expect Dace Kime to go. The Defiance senior went 7-1 and one this year with a 1.21 earned run average. He led the team all the way to the state semifinals. Now, the Tigers did not have a first-round pick. Cleveland did. At number five, they took Drew Pomerantz, the best left-handed pitcher in the draft. Indians looking for some help at the top of the rotation after trading Cliff Lee and CC Sabathia away. And on that theme, Victor Martinez comes back to town for the first time since he was traded away last summer. Victor was two for four with a run driven in. Boston a winner, four to one in Cleveland. Mudheads in Rochester. Toledo lost the first game 15 to three, but they won the nightcap six to two. With the NBA Finals grabbing headlines, this is an empty time for the Cavs organization and its fans, but that does not mean they are out of sight and out of mind. LeBron's free agency still looms, and we've learned that Nets minority owner Jay-Z is not trying to recruit his good friend. Why? I don't know, but that's what he says. And it's hard to believe a coach will join the team with LeBron's situation in flux, but nevertheless, Cavs owner Dan Gilbert, a Michigan State grad, has reportedly offered the job to Tom Izzo. It's a five-year deal believed to be worth $6 million a season. At the same time, the Celtics pulled into a 1-1 series tie with the Lakers. Ray Allen going nuts. He broke a finals record with eight three-pointers. Boston won the game by nine, and now they head home for games three, four, and five. This moment is, is our moment, and we got to take advantage of it. It's a series. You, know, you try to stay even kill. You don't get too high. You don't get too low after a win or a loss. You just move on to the next one. Take care of business. Game three tomorrow night right here on 13 ABC. Who will take a 2-1 lead? Will it be Boston? Will it be L.A.? Pre-game coverage starts at 8.30 with a tip following at 9 o'clock. 61 years of painful losing could come to an end for the Chicago Blackhawks. After a win in Game 5, they can close out the Stanley Cup Wednesday in Philadelphia. Hawks have a 3-2 series lead. Browns on the practice field today. The team still exploring different ways of using Josh Cribbs. Right there, he caught a touchdown. And here's Josh in a familiar role at returning kickoffs. What we'll continue to do with him is see all the different roles and then try to prior prioritize the roles best we can. Former Lions quarterback Dante Culpepper has signed on with the Sacramento Mountain Lions of the United Football League. There he will play for Dennis Green. Culpepper, 33 years old, and he started five games last year for the Detroit Lions. Much more coming up tomorrow, Diane, including Armando Galarraga back on the hill for the Tigers. He's a new hero for them. Well, the wake-up weather forecast right around the corner. First, first, we're taking a live look from our 13 ABC downtown action cam. Stands right back with what we can all expect in the morning.